Hi, my name is Jennifer. In this video, I will show you how to calibrate a pH electrode. Calibrating your pH electrode ensures that your results are correct. Over time, every pH electrode ages, which leads to changes in the slope and offset potential. By performing a calibration, the difference between a real pH electrode and an ideal pH electrode is compensated. For accurate measurements, you must calibrate your pH electrode frequently. But what does frequently mean? As a rule of thumb, we recommend weekly calibrations if you measure only a few samples and your sample is a clean, aqueous sample. Daily or even more frequent calibrations are recommended if you measure many samples every day, your sample easily contaminates the electrode or you measure at elevated temperatures. Always calibrate your pH electrode if it's a new electrode, after performing an electrode maintenance, or after long storage periods. For the calibration, you need your instrument, the pH electrode, an integrated or separate temperature sensor, certified buffers, and deionized water for rinsing. Only use fresh buffers for the calibration. The use of sachets ensures that the buffers are always fresh. Make sure that the buffers are not expired. Additionally, if you use bottles, ensure that the recommended opening period is not exceeded. This is especially important for alkaline buffers with a pH value higher than 9, because such buffers take up CO2. Before you start, make sure your pH electrode is connected to your meter. Take the electrode out of the storage vessel. If necessary, refill the electrolyte. As a rule of thumb, the level of the electrolyte should always be higher than the level of the sample solution. Rinse the electrode well with ionized water. Do not dab dry the electrode with a tissue, as this can damage the electrode. Shake off any remaining water drops by shortly moving the electrode back and forth. Select the corresponding measuring channel in the main dialog. To set the number of buffers, go to the menu, select the calibration mode, and then the number of buffers you need. You should always use at least two buffers for a calibration, which bracket the expected pH value of your sample. For higher accuracy, for samples with an unknown pH value, it is better to use a multi-point calibration with at least three pH buffers. In addition, select the correct type of buffers which you are using for this calibration. This is important for the correct calibration. Start the calibration by pressing the Cal button. Open the refill opening to avoid contamination of the diaphragm during the calibration. Immerse the pH electrode into the first buffer solution. Make sure that the glass membrane and the diaphragm are fully immersed in the buffer solution. Use the clamping ring to fix the position of your pH electrode. This ensures a consistent immersion depth and can prevent damaging the electrode by hitting the bottom of the beak. Confirm the immersion of the sensor by pressing CAL. Enter the temperature of the buffer solution and confirm with CAL. If the pH electrode has a built-in temperature sensor, the measured temperature will be shown. Measuring the temperature is essential for a correct calibration, as the temperature influences the slope of the electrode. Make sure you gently steer the buffer solution. Vigorous steering leaves your pH electrode hanging in the air. Also, it will increase the uptake of CO2, which can falsify the pH value of your buffers. Your meter will automatically recognize the buffer you have used and show when it is time to change the buffer. Before continuing the calibration with the second buffer, rinse the pH electrode with deionized water. Now immerse your pH electrode in the second buffer and press Cal. Again, rinse the pH electrode with deionized water before the third buffer. Now immerse the pH electrode in the third buffer and press Cal. 
Once the determination is finished, you need to display the calibration results. After the calibration is finished, rinse the electrode again with deionized water. Dispose of the buffers and do not pour them back into the bottle, as they are contaminated. Now you know how to calibrate your pH electrode, and you are ready to measure your samples. If you still have questions, do not hesitate to write them in the comments below.